Hello, hello, good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Ana Maria, Roberto, and Soveida. How are you doing today? How are you feeling? Very good, teacher. A little Very tired, good. but very good. Okay, that is the attitude. A little tired, but good. Okay. Um, do you have a long day at work? I'm feeling great, but to be honest with you, I feel a little sore. Sore. My, ba my, 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 my body aches. Um, that would be like when you go to the gym and the next day you feel pain in your muscles, in your, in your body. It One or two days after the gym. Okay, so my connection is not good right now. Wait a second. Okay, uh, let me try without the camera. What about now? Is it it's better? better? Yes, it's better. Okay, okay, better. Thank God. So I will try to turn on the camera later. So probably the internet connection is not so good right now. Um, so I was telling you that that is the meaning of, of sword, mm -hmm. uh, like adolorido, right? Oh, okay. with pain mm -hmm. with pain okay so uh but yes it's temporary <laughs> i hope okay espero se mejor thank I you feel better i hope you feel better yes me too the thing is that as you know uh, when you stop exercising for a long time and then you try to exercise it's a little difficult Okay. So that is Pero that is vida. what's happening to me. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever uh, gone there to to gym to do exercises and do different kind of physical activities? Yes. No. Mm, I run in the cafe talon. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. That's great. Yes, I try, but it's very difficult. Ah. How how long do you run? How much time? Um. ¿Cómo se dice media hora, Thirty minutes. There, you can there, say 30 minutes or you can say half an hour. Half, half an hour. An hour. Mm -hmm. Yes. Half an hour. Yes. Three times to the week. I try three times to a week. Go. Three times a week. I try to the go. To the coin. ¿Cómo sería? Two? Yo trato de ir tres veces a la I semana. try to go. I try to go three times a oh, week. Okay, I try to go three times. Okay, yes. Yeah, I try to go three times a week. Okay, so three times a week is really good. Yes, mm, more or less. <laughs> okay, let me see, Alba, welcome. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. So, how, how are, are you doing? You? Pretty good. Thank you. I'm fine. Well, I practice no oh. maybe <laughs> twice a month yoga. Ah. Okay. Yes. That's a little difficult, right? Uh, mm. 
the beginner. At the beginning, huh? Yes. Okay. Then, um, let me see who else is here, Isaac and Elena. Isaac, I understand that you like to, to play softball, right? Yes, I like it. So you, ex you practice that every week or how, how frequently do you do it? Um, I'll practice on Saturday. On Saturday? Oh. Uh -huh. Todos los sábados. Every Saturday. Every Saturday, or you can say all Saturdays. Oh, okay. Very good, Elena. What about you? Good evening, sister. Good evening. Okay, no problem. So uh, we're talking about physical activities, about exercising. Um, do you do any kind of physical activity or exercise? Que se practico ejercicio. <laughs> or any it's physical activity. Ah, uh -huh. do you walk? Do you play something? Do yeah. you practice? Well, do you do um, yoga? Uh -huh. eh, no. No. Pero si I walk, walking, eh, uh, minutes. Forty minutes. Yeah. Forty minutes. Oh, nice. So that's something really good. Okay, thank you for sharing. Uh, uh huh. Thank you. No, no, nothing, nothing. Sorry, I didn't hear you because of a noise. What? Hello, hello. No, 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 no. Okay, I think that there is a problem with the connection probably because I hear that it's kind of uh, cutting. So it's a little bit difficult to understand clearly. Okay, but that's all right. Don't worry. We're we're good. So um, we're going to get started. Uh, so we already had the moment for a conversation. Uh, something that we're going to be doing today is just making sure that everything is clear about the section that we have been working on. Uh, we're going to have a quick review of the topics or the contents that we have been studying throughout this month or that or the four weeks right of the of the of the course and then um we're going to do some extra activities that will help you to practice the language and at the same time have fun so that is a purpose okay i'm going i'm here but uh, apparently when i turn on my camera the my voice sounds kind of cutting so it's not so clear i sound like a robot apparently so I will be uh, switching on and off the, the camera, but that's the reason why, okay? So um, quickly, we're going to get started. And as you remember, yesterday we practiced what? What did we practice yesterday? We're talking about the family, the old family. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What else? Well, 
home, uh, get out with our siblings, que hang out, algo así. Uh -huh. ha, get along well, get along well. Uh -huh. Get along. Uh, get, uh, get, get along. along. Get along well with our siblings. And how do we get our names? Uh -huh. Very good. So we're talking about family, about something related to that. Okay, excellent. Um, let me see, what else, what else? About grammar, maybe? Something that, you that we studied about grammar? Quantifiers, we're going to check right now. We're going to check right now yes, the, the quantifiers. exercise. Quantifiers, right? So we're going to check right now the, um, how can I tell you? Your, the, the exercise, okay? Um, so I am going to share the screen right now so that you can um, see and the, the exercise and you can share it with us the answers that you have, okay? The answers that you have. So um, it was something very simple, okay? It was something very simple. We talked a little bit about the differences between El Salvador, families in El Salvador, right? And families in the United States. There is a big difference. Um, and also, a, I mentioned about the platform, okay? So by this time, you should be done with that. And that's all, okay? So we're just missing one reading, okay? From the, the, the section and that's it. So we practice a conversation. I come from a big family. So we have different volunteers who, practice, who said the conversation. So Rodrigo, welcome. Teresa, same for you. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we're ready to get started. Let me check if it works. Okay, can you see the, the exercise about quantifiers right now on your screen? Yes, no? Kind of? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. I see. It. Okay, now you yes. see it. Good. So, um, Number one, in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. I didn't know that. So um, what would be the equivalent to this sentence? Considering the quantifiers, all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, or no one. A lot of. What do you think? I think is a lot of a lot of of women in some some okay so in this case uh, is something relative right it's something relative because uh, sometimes when we say some uh, people understand right that we are referring to uh, reduced number okay. Uh, when you say a lot of, a lot of people, well, some people consider that it's more than 50%, right? A lot of, and um, I am going to share with okay. you something. Uh, okay, let me sh share with you the link. Okay, so you can study that later on, okay? Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Okay, so um, when we say some, that would be right in the in the in the middle, right? Right in the middle, because that's fifty percent, right? It's not so um, so much. It's not so much. Now, uh, the next one is. Let me check. What is it? In Australia, eighty-seven percent of married couples have children. In Australia. 80% of married couples 
have children. What the, okay, tell me this sentence, but using quantifiers instead of the number or the percentage. Okay. Nearly off uh, married couples have children. Uh huh. Nearly all. Yeah. Another possible Nearly option. Nearly all. Mar I think a few. Eighty-seven. A few. No, that wouldn't be possible. A I few. It's. Most? It's, it's, it's a small quantity. So in this case, we can say nearly all, or you can say most. I would say most probably for 87, most or nearly all are okay. Uh, number three, volunteer. In the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. Okay, so I need you to tell me that example, but using quantifiers. I'm going to select the volunteer who okay. will be. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, Ana Maria. In the, ah, Alba. Um, okay, excellent. Alba, go ahead. In the United States, no one vote before the age of 18. No one, uh -huh, no one vote. Well, in this case, no one votes with the letter S. Uh -huh. No one votes before the age of 18. And no one votes. Votes. Uh -huh. Excellent. Before the age of 18. Very good. So zero, right? Zero percent. In El Salvador is the same. No one votes before 18. Number four, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. 35%. Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? Let me check. So Rodrigo, Alba already participated. So I need somebody else, somebody else. So wait that. Thank you. I think no many, oh, no many people in Germany live alone. Not many, it's okay. 35%, uh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good option. Number five, thank you so much. That was really good. The last one, number five, one volunteer. Seventy-eight percent of American high school students have jobs. Seventy-eight. Uh huh. Teresa, is I think it's many. Hello. Okay, Teresa, it's sharing with us. Okay, seventy eight percent of American high school students have jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, is many a lot of some. A lot of or many. Uh, okay, so you can say many or a lot of uh, American lot high school of students have jobs. Some yeah. is not possible. Some is not possible. You can say many. Yes, you can oh, say okay. many. Sorry, sorry. Or you can say most. Okay, most. So very good. Because we're saying that almost eight students out of 10, okay, uh, have a job. So it's, it's, a, it's, a lot, it's a high number, right? Now, this is all about the uh, quantifiers, okay? This is what you practiced yesterday. You gave me examples about how to use the, the present continuous and you talked about what your family members are doing or were doing at that time, okay? So I took the screenshot, okay, as evidence. And the next one <clears throat> is a little speaking activity. Okay, so here we have uh, different questions, okay? And we have the roulette. So I am going to ask for different volunteers to uh, participate and answer one of the questions, okay? 
So, um, first volunteer. Me, teacher. Ana Maria raises her hand and also we have, wait a second, I don't, I don't know why I cannot see everybody. Okay, Ana Maria, uh, Rodrigo and Is everybody's going to participate, okay? You just have to uh, volunteer to go first. So uh, we go with Ana Maria, Rodrigo, and then Soveida. And after Soveida, we go with the next volunteers. So Ana Maria, the question for you is number four. Who is a person you admire and why? Who is a person you admire? <laughs> Um, a, pen, a person, uh, is, is my father because okay. he's, uh, because how do you say Guerrero? He's a warrior. <laughs> he's a hard, yeah, he's a warrior. He's a, he's a hardworking man. I Okay, because he's a hardworking man, uh -huh. he's a wa warrior. Warrior, yeah. Warrior. He's a fighter. Fighter. Fighter, un luchador, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, excellent, thank you so much. What's your father's name, Ana Maria? Jose. Jose. Sí, his Excellent. His name is Jose. His name is Jose. Thank you for sharing. Uh, now we continue with the next one is Rodrigo. So Rodrigo, the question you get is number seven. What animals are you afraid of? What animals or insects are you afraid of? <laughs> That's an interesting question. Rodrigo. Hello, hello. <clears throat> hello. So, <clears throat> uh -huh. I have it, it something weird, but I afraid the turtles. The the turtles because in my when I was a, a kid, one one turtle bite me in, in, in my finger. Oh, and one total beat I, your finger. I, yeah, beat, beat my, my little finger and I afraid I I'm very scary in in, in that moment. So I don't I, I don't like uh, turtles. I, oh, I, okay. afraid. you're afraid of them. Yeah. Oh, that's because a they, well it's it's not an interesting experience, yeah. but it's it's something that, yeah, it happens sometimes, right? So, got it. Um, mm -hmm. You're afraid of turtles. Uh, yeah, turtles can be dangerous if they bite you because they are very strong. Okay, only turtles. No more animals or insects. And uh, I think the bees. Bees. The bees uh -huh. the that be yeah because if one bees bite me or how do you say sting because sting sting when when a bee sting my hand I am allergy oh yeah. you are allergic so allergy of a bee You're allergic to bees so that's ah. why uh, so when I see a, I afraid because I, if a bee bite me or stings me, uh -huh. I, I'm very stings me when when the bee stings me, I'm very sick. Yeah, you get very sick. Okay, so it's something bad. Got it. Yeah. 
bad, yeah. Okay, thank you for sharing okay. that. Um, in my case, I'm afraid of, um, I have phobia of snakes, for example. Um, okay. <laughs> I cannot stand snakes, yeah. Okay, let's go on with the next one. Uh, so, Veda, the question for you is number one. Tell us about a dream that you have. Okay, my biggest dream. Uh -huh, your is, biggest dream. Is uh -huh. to travel. Okay, my big dream is to travel to Paris. And to Paris. Ah. now the Eiffel Tower. Yes. And to and to see the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Yes, person, I right? love it. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow, that's a that's a beautiful, <laughs> a beautiful dream. Yes. I'm I I think a lot of, a lot of a lot of people want to have that dream of visiting the Eiffel Tower, especially women, right? Because they consider it to be a very romantic destination. So mm -hmm. yes, I get it. I get it. Yes. It's beautiful. And generally, I travel. I, I dream to travel, but the destination, the first destination is the mm -hmm. Eiffel Tower. Excellent. Okay. Very good. For me, my, my biggest dream uh, in traveling was visiting uh, Machu Picchu. For me, that wasn't my number one destination. Really? Yes. Yeah, thank God I had the chance to do that some years ago. Okay, yeah. thank you, Soveida. We continue with the next volunteer. Who's the next volunteer? We already have Rodrigo, Ana, and Soveida. So who wants to go next? There are very interesting questions. There are very interesting questions. So I select the volunteer. No problem. We go with Isaac. You are the next one. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to ask you the question number eight. Who's your favorite actor or actress and why? My favorite actor is. Alan Sambler. Okay. Why Alan Sambler? I love you. I like. His? I, uh, I like. Uh, you. No sé cómo decir su humor. How do you say? How do you say su humor? How do you say humor? Uh -huh. Okay. In this case, his humor. His humor. humor. I like his humor. Okay, thank you. Okay, no, thank you for, for sharing. Um, next one is Alba. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> So the question will be number six. Number six is what, what kind, kind of music kind do you music like? music do you like? Something simple. I don't have any specific music, but I really what? like uh, the pop music. Pop, the 80s. In English or Spanish? The 80s, 90s. Ah, 80s and in 90s. In Spanish. Oh, in Spanish. Okay. Yes. For example, the flans, one, one, one. Pandora, last in uh, <laughs> Okay, so I know I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Okay, so that was really good music, right? With Magneto and all these people. No, I think they are from the nineties. Okay, yeah, but I get it. I get it. Excellent, Alba. Thank you so much. The next volunteer will be Elena. Yes, number sir. seven, number seven. Wait a second. Okay, uh, now we already talked about this. So we go with the number 10. 
Okay, talk about your hobbies. What hobbies do you have, Elena? Uh, watching TV. Watching TV? Yeah. Serious, uh huh. Watching serious. Serious and uh, movies and uh, listening music. Listening to music. Dancing. Dancing, uh huh. Um. Sleeping. <laughs> and sleeping. Okay. Very nice. Thank you so much. We go <laughs> with the next volunteer. Okay, we have space or we have time for two more volunteers. Who wants to go ahead with the questions? Let me see. Teresa, excellent. So Teresa, the question for you will be the number, no, this is repeated. Uh, no. Next one, five. Okay, what's something you don't like to do at home? What is something you don't like to do at home, Teresa? Teresa, are you there? Hello? Sorry, sorry. No problem. Uh, I have the uh, I don't like um, is wash, washing trust. The dishes. Uh, yes, washing the but, dishes. Sorry. Washing the dishes. Okay, there you go. Washing the dishes. Okay, yeah, I suppose a lot of people don't like that. Okay, thank you. And the last volunteer will be, who will that be? We have, um, let me see, Loida and Elias. Who will be the volunteer, the final volunteer? Me teach. Okay, perfect. So, Eloida too. So, both. Elias, uh, the question for you will be the number three. If you could be a superhero, which one would you choose? If, if you could be a superhero, any superhero. So, Superman. Superman, mm. Batman, Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Say. Okay, so you're a Spider-Man fan. And La thank you. Huh? And the last one will be for Lloyd. The question that we have an answer is the number two. What's a good memory you have from your childhood? What's a good memory you my, have from your childhood? Yes, um, my good memory is playing with my cousin because uh, I have many cousins and I have uh -huh. cousins at my sa same age. And I like to visit my grand father's house okay very good so we all have memories right so that is the uh activity one of the activities that i have for you so you could just share information right practice speaking and talk about different topics right so it is something important to practice english and you have to know how to talk about not only the same topics like work hobbies, I mean, there are many topics more that you can uh, practice or you can talk about with people. So we're going to move on. And the other element for today's session, as I told you before, was a quick review of what we have been doing. Okay, so one of the things that we have been doing, uh, well, we have been working with five different sections. Okay, if you remember, we started with the, Please call me Beth, right? So we had an international club party 
and we had David and Beth talking about where they were from and uh, spelling a little bit of inf personal information, uh, the link sounds that I told you that, is, that are really important, right, for having more fluency. Uh, the possessives of the verb, uh, the possessive adjectives with the verb be, right? So we said my, your, his, her, its, our, and their. Questions with the with the verb be, right? So words, whose, what are, where are, how are, and we had all those questions with wh, not yes no question. These were wh questions. Greetings from around the world. Uh, yes, no questions with the and short answers with the verb be. That's something that we started in the section one. Hello and goodbye. What's in the name? How do you spend your day? That was the section two. Uh, we talk about working, right? About different workplaces, about different professions or occupations, the activities that you do and where you do those activities. Uh, hamburger heaven, right? Uh, we had the WH questions and statements in the simple present. So we ask for extra information about each other. Then um, we moved on to the um, conversation. I start work at five, the syllable stress and the time expressions in, at, on. We were practicing the difference between the three of them. We had, why do you need a job? That was a reading. Then we moved on. We had the, my survey about my perfect day. We had different questions about what time do you get up? Uh, where do you go? What do you do in the evening? What, when do you go to bed? Section three was about uh, how much is it? So shopping, about asking for how much something was, about the prices, expensive, cheap. Demonstratives, one and ones, okay? These, that, those, and these. Um, we did the little shopping activity, right? Uh, materials, which one do you prefer? So we talked about preferences. Um, comparatives, right? The comparisons with adjectives, like we can say that La Pampa, for example, is more expensive than uh, China Walk, okay? So um, different things, okay, that we practice on this, on this section. A online market or online shopping, we talked about eBay. Amazon and other platforms that are popular now. And the majority of you said that you prefer online shopping now. We started uh, the unit four the, or the section four that was, do you like rap? Everything was about music, uh, the different areas or categories uh, in music. Eminem, Dido, right? We had a conversation about that. Yes, no questions, and WH questions would do, okay, do and does. Uh, remember that we use do for I, you, we, they, and we use does for he, she, and it for the questions and for the answers. Um, object pronouns, okay, object pronouns. Uh, right here, we have this one, me for I, you, it's the same one him for he, her for she, it is the same as the pronoun, us is for we, and them is for they. So um, we said, I explained you that the object pronouns are the ones that receive the action of the subject. For example, I can say, my mother gave me a present for Christmas. Uh, I told you about the homework later. I told you about the homework later. Uh, I can say, when, uh, for example, the, 
the Titanic, right? In the Titanic, you know that Rose and Jack were um, together uh, in the ocean and um, Rose told Jack to stay, uh, told him, right, right? Rose told him to stay awake, right? To stay there and he died, he couldn't survive. So uh, she told him that she loved him. He told her that he loved her. So, but nothing happened. Um, it was not a happy ending. And then we had the intonation in questions, entertainment survey. We practiced with the survey uh, about entertainment. And um, we talked about favorite things, favorite people, favorite movies, actors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what else? We had a conversation at the stadium, making an invitation using would. Would you like to uh, go to the movies tomorrow morning or tomorrow night? Uh, would you like to visit the, the park? Uh, I don't know, next week? um yes i would yes i love to thanks yes i really like to go or saying no in a polite way right in a nice way like hey teacher would you like to um uh, let's say listen to a song a, a perreo song in, in english and i'm like mm, I like to, but I don't have time right now. I have to go to teach another class. I'm sorry. Okay, so it's a no, but in a nice way. Uh, so we practice that, making invitations. Uh, the different uh, abbreviations that we can use for texting, right? See you, or later, or great, thanks, night, love, etc., etc., etc. You did this reading on Christina Aguilera, uh, her life on the platform, okay? All the things that she did after Disney. Uh, likes and dislikes, that was the survey that you were completing about other classmates, okay? So it was a combination of different questions. It was really interesting. And um, the last but not least, a section that we're working on was family. Okay, so we talked about the family members. Uh, we talked about the relationships between some famous people. And we had a conversation about families. Okay, asking information about families. The intonation in statements was focused on the falling intonation in sentences or statements. Okay, um, and the, during this week, uh, also, we have been studying the present continuous. Okay, are you living at home? Is your sister working for the government? Are you paying attention to me right now? Yes, no. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. <laughs> okay. Veronica, you're here. Veronica, are you listening to me? Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Excuse me? Are you listening to me? <laughs> yes, she is. Excellent. Yes. So, yes, very good. I'm sorry that I have my camera off, but my internet connection today has been terrible. So when I turn it on, apparently I the I sound kind of uh, like a robot. Uh, so it's difficult for me to keep it on. But I will turn it on, okay? I will turn it on at moments, at times, and we're going to have the picture, the final picture too. You see, now I get the message, your internet connection is unstable. Ya me el mensaje de que la conexión es inestable. Okay, so um, we have the conversations about the present continuous, and then we talked about the typical families, uh, conversation about a big family, uh quantifiers that we checked at the beginning of today's class and we're going to finish with the change in family so you're going to read and first of all we're going to focus on um the questions 
Why do women work outside the home? Okay, read the, the title of the article, The Changing Family. I um, Then check the question you think the article will answer. Do you think the article is about why women work outside the home or what happens when both parents work? What do you think It's the main topic in this reading? Any ideas? You can take a look, right? Read a little bit, scan the article. And you tell me what you think. Is it about um, women who work outside the home or is it about uh, what happens when both parents work, when the father and the mother work? Tick, yeah, they are. Tick, tick. It is when both parents work. That's right. This work. When both parents work. Okay, so we're going to uh, practice pronunciation. We're going to read, okay? So um, what we're going to do is a little dynamic, okay? For example, you're going to start reading. The, the first volunteer, right, is going to start reading. When they say stop, you don't, you, you don't read more and you say somebody else's name, somebody else's name. So you mention one of your classmates and that person has to start quickly to see if they are paying attention, right? Then I say stop, and that person is going to call out another name. For example, Loida is going to start. Loida, please. Yes. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. Stop. What happened when both parents work? Stop, 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 stop. OK. <laughs> So we had the uh, question, what happens when both parents work? Loida, mention one classmate, please. Isaac. Isaac, continue. Three, uh -huh. two, one, <laughs> go. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steven Morales have three children. Josh, 11, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. Okay, stop. Zach, mention another classmate, please. Okay. My day. My day. Is my day here? I don't see her. Hello. No, my dad's not here. So choose somebody else. I don't know what happened with my dad. She's always in class. Oh. Can you hear me well, guys? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I guess. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. So Isaac, can you please mention somebody else? Okay, Sophia. Who? Sonia. 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 Okay, let me see. Do we have Sonia here? Let me check. Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. I don't see any Sonia here, Zach. Oh. Sonia is not connected. <laughs> Maybe Soveida. Maybe, uh, maybe Soveida. Uh -huh. Me? Yeah. That's it. Elias. Elias. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> Hello? Okay, Elias. Okay. Steve is a computer. 
Bye. Steve is a computer programmer. This year. Year Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family. Uh -huh. Needs the money and Judy likes her job. Okay, Everything stop there, Elias. Going well, but there. Thank you. We we'll stop there and we we'll continue with the next volunteer. Mention someone, please. You have Soveda, uh, Veronica, uh, Elena, Teresa. Alba and Ana Maria. Ana Maria. Ana Maria. Okay, perfect. Continue, please. Okay, everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Continue. Now that Judy. Not that Joy is working, Steve has his help there. More with the housework. He doesn't hmm. enjoy, enjoy it. He doesn't enjoy it. Okay, stop there. Ana Maria, choose the next volunteer, please. Uh, uh, What's name? <laughs> no sé What names? Names. Uh, you have uh, Roberto. Alba Roberto. Roberto. cannot use the microphone right now, so it's difficult for him to use the microphone. So you have Teresa, Veronica, um, Elena, and Alba. Okay, será Veronica. Okay, Veronica, you are the chosen one. Okay, Judy. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and, and I don't remember. Busy. 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 Mm -hmm. she, she also worries about the children. Judy okay. has to work on Saturday. So... Sigo. So Steve so, and so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Together. Stop there and choose the next volunteer. As you can see, this reading is not about what happens when both parents work. It's about what happens when women go outside the home to work. Okay. So uh um, Alba, Teresa, Elena? or Elena. Okay, perfect. Elena? Emily? Emily is having a great time in the after the school program when that comes to be here up. She doesn't want to live it. To leave, okay. She doesn't want to leave. Okay, the next one, uh, Teresa or Alba. Select the volunteer. Let's go with me, Alba. Yes. No. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Okay, excellent. And we finish with the last paragraph. Teresa? Okay. Just enjoy, enjoy his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. 
is also drawing a few household shorts. Okay, a few household shorts. Unfortunately, that's one of the words that appear here, right, in the previous paragraph. Thank you so much, class, for all of you. And everybody read, that's the most important. So, excellent, thank you. We're going to stop sharing this screen and we're going to practice the last, with the last link. I'm going to share a link with you. Wait a second, I, I'm having some internet connection issues. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I'm sharing a link uh, through the chat. So you're going to enter to the game and um, we're going to see how you do it. It's all about the present continuous, okay? It's all about the present continuous. So let me just get started. Share, copy link, and now we, I share it through the chat. So you can access now. Okay, click on the link, please. And as soon as everybody's in, we start with the quiz. Okay, Lloyd Sarabia is in. Elena, very good. Veronica, Isaac, Soveida. Ana, Maria, Teresa. Okay, we got seven, very good. Elias, very good. Excellent, we got Rodrigo too. We got nine players now. Next one. All right, Alba, Roberto are in, so we got 11. I think that that would be all, oh, yes. Probably just one more person is missing. Uh, no, we have two surveyors, so we're ready to go. Ready, set, and go. So you go to, to your own rhythm. I am going to be just moving on the questions. Okay, you answer. And wait a second. I'm having some issues with the internet, but I hope I can solve it right now. Okay, let's be patient. There you go. Finally. They are sleeping, they are eating, they are eat. Okay. Teacher, um, Jim, yeah. Can you see it? No. Mm, yo no. No, no, teacher. I don't see. It. Okay. Wait a second. I think it's the internet connection. No, we are just see the names, but not the questions. So it's a problem with the internet connection. I'm going to refresh maybe, or I'm going to go with the plan B. I'm going to connect from my cell phone. Give me just a second. Yo tampoco. Yeah, yeah, share. don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to share my internet connection from the phone. Hopefully that will be better. Yeah. Just on the last day of classes, we have these internet connection problems. Can you believe that? Okay, uh, going to refresh one more time. Cross fingers. Okay, so now I am connected to my phone directly. I don't know if you can see the question.
Yes or no? No, yes, teacher. teacher. Now, yes. Okay. They are working, he is working, or she's working. No, teacher. Let me share the screen. Yo no. Que te actualizar en la página. Okay, if the internet doesn't work for you, but you can see it on the screen, just tell me which one you think is the answer. They are working, he's working, or she's working. She's working. She's working, that's right. So she's working, excellent. So we go to the next question. We say yes, goodbye, thank you, no thank you. And we continue with the next one. Okay, all done. We go with the next question. Quickly. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, there you go. Okay, he is homework, he is doing homework or he doing homework. Which one is right? He is homework, he is doing homework, or he doing homework? He's doing homework. He's doing homework, okay. The last option is correct, yes. And the question, and we go to the next question, quickly. Here we go. Is he holding books? No, he isn't. Yes, he is not. Or yes, he is. Yes, he is. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, he's not. Impossible, right? So yes, he is. That's right. So we go with the last question. Because of time, we're just going to do one more question. And because the internet is not helping at all. OK, next question, quickly. Okay, so here we have it. Um, she is swimming, she isn't swimming. Is he swimming? She not swimming. She isn't swimming. She isn't swimming. She is. She isn't swimming. She isn't swimming. She, she, isn't swimming. she, she isn't. isn't. Okay, so the time, the time is up. The majority of you said she isn't swimming. That's correct. She isn't swimming. Okay, so apparently you have better connection now. So let's see if it's possible to do one more. Okay, they are cooking, painting a picture, having fun, or making biscuits, making cookies. Having fun. having fun. They are having fun. They are having fun. That's correct. They are having fun. So uh, we're going to end the session here because of internet issues. I'm going to stop sharing and I am going to turn on my camera because um, otherwise I won't finish on time. Okay, so um, what's going on? Okay, got it. So um, guys, uh, I try to make a quick review of everything so that you remember like, oh yes, I remember that in the first week we practiced that. Yes, in the second week we were doing that. Uh, so you see that it's been just one month, just 16 classes, but we have studied a lot of different things. So, uh, and you have been present in the majority of the sessions. So I want to congratulate you and thank you for that too. Um, because I know that it's not easy for you, especially because you're working, you have responsibilities, you have different things and you connect to classes at night every day from Monday through Thursday. That means that you have a lot of motivation and that is something really, really important. So, 
Uh, I appreciate that a lot as a professional, as a person who works too during the day. Uh, so I want to motivate you to continue learning, studying by yourself, uh, using the technology right in your favor, uh, investigating, uh, practicing the language as much as possible, and trying not to give up despite the difficulties. I know that it's complicated sometimes because not every day is happy day, it's a happy day or an easy day, but here you are, okay? Here you are. So congratulations and thank you for uh, sharing, for sh your information, for sharing a moment with me in every class. It was a pleasure to, to be with you and I hope, right, that in the future, I can see you again. So uh, have a good weekend, enjoy it. Uh, good luck on the next module. Uh, by the way, that's something important that you have to remember. Today is the last day where that you can, uh, I mean, complete all of your pending assignments. I told you yesterday, hoy es el día de, okay, de terminar todo. Eh, Y ya están abierta la, la, la reapertura o la inscripción de los, del siguiente módulo. Eh, tengo entendido, según nos dijeron por acá, que entre el 11 y el 14 estaría como fecha límite para poder recibir documentos. Eh, Working. Entre el 11 y el 14 máximo para poder enviar los documentos si acaso no se ha inscrito para el siguiente módulo eh, y la fecha tentativa eh, está para el 21 de febrero, ok, del módulo 2 eh, that's the information that I have ok, that's the information that I have so um, now thank you uh, Teresa eh, I hope that you enjoy and that you learn uh, something new in these classes, right? That's my one of my objectives in every class, in every group that I have, that my students learn something new. So uh, any questions or comments before we finish today's session and we finish this module? I want to say congratulations because you did it, okay? So that's it, okay? For this module, but you have more things to do, right? More modules to study. So,